Sergei Prokofiev wrote some of the most famous snare drum parts in the orchestral repertoire, including his Fifth Symphony and Lieutenant Kiji Suite. But if you're going to have a career as a symphony musician, the Prokofiev selection you're most likely to play regularly is Peter and the Wolf. The percussion parts for this are covered by two players, and the snare drummer has to play bass drum and castanets too. So first, you want to get a setup that will allow you to transition between these three instruments effortlessly, because there are some pretty fast switches. I like to use two snare drums for this piece, a smaller, brighter drum for the delicate and soft entrances in the first half, and then a bigger, warmer drum for the processional music towards the end. But if you're pressed for space or you want to keep things simple, one drum will be just fine. Keep in mind, this piece is usually programmed for family or education concerts with often just one rehearsal and a reduced orchestra on stage. Many of the entrances in this piece require careful attention to ensemble alignment. The music after rehearsal 16 might be stylized a little bit by the bassoon, meaning that you should listen to whether the dotted rhythm is squared off or compressed. Whichever it is, the snare drum will have to duplicate it since the bassoon enters first. For the accented flams around Rehearsal 31 and 33, I like to do a couple of things I normally would avoid. First, I open up the flam and play the grace note a little louder than normal. I also try to play directly in the center of the head to get that popping sound, which we tend to dislike as snare drummers. But I think these adjustments help to mimic the sound of the wolf snapping his teeth, which is what's happening around this part of the narration. And finally, the music for the procession to the zoo at the end of the piece contains the most famous snare drum entrance, which is often asked at auditions. I try to follow the half note feel of the melody by gently phrasing towards the first and third beat of each measure. Be careful to observe the forte dynamic printed two before rehearsal 50. The melody drops into a lower range here, and there's a risk that the snare drum could cover it up. I like to crescendo a little at the end of that phrase to set up the melody restarting at rehearsal 50. Try to be very precise with the dotted eighth plus sixteenth rhythm. Don't allow it to become influenced by the triplets or else it might start to sound swung. To wrap up, I'll now play through all of the snare drum highlights from Prokofiev's Peter and the Wolf. In a twinkling, the cat climbed up the tree. The duck quacked, and in her excitement, jumped right out of the pond. But no matter how... How the bird worried the wolf, how he wanted to catch her, 
But the bird was clever, and the wolf simply couldn't do anything about it. Caught the wolf by the tail and pulled with all his might. Feeling himself caught, the wolf began to jump wildly, trying to get loose. Peter tied the other end of the rope to the tree. And the wolf's jumping only made the rope around his tail tighter. What then? Followed her. Alive.